The cooling system is one of the most critical elements of engine performance and reliability, but is often the most neglected maintenance item for all vehicles on the road today. Owner's manuals, like this one, recommend flushing the cooling system at least once during the warranty period and regularly afterwards to prevent harmful buildup of contaminants that can clog radiators and heater cores or damage water pumps. Despite the recommendation, proper cooling system flushes are not being performed for several reasons. The original equipment warranty period has expired and the end user does not want to pay for the recommended service. Many flushes are performed on the radiator only but do not include the engine block or heater core leaving most contaminants still in the system. Compounding this problem, improper coolant pH levels, the use of tap water rather than distilled water, accidental mixing of different types of coolant, and even a poor understanding of system chemistry by original equipment manufacturers all contribute to unacceptable levels of contamination. The result of this improper maintenance is undetected component wear by the consumer and reduced engine cooling efficiency leading to water pump failure. Systems that have been neglected for an extended period of time present a special problem for technicians because a routine flush will not remove enough of the contaminants. Additionally, many technicians may flush only the radiator using a basic water hose rather than a flush machine or tool. To help technicians thoroughly clean neglected systems, protect water pump warranties, and prevent customer comebacks, Gates recommend using a new power clean flush tool with a pulsating feature available as part number 91002. Normal flush procedures do not remove enough contaminants on neglected systems. So before demonstrating the power clean flush tool, we'll flush each component of the system with water from a garden hose since this is the procedure used by a high percentage of technicians. We'll filter the contaminants during each step so you can see how much contamination is removed by the common water hose flush. Then, we'll use the power clean flush tool to demonstrate the amount of contamination and debris that the basic or routine flush procedure does not remove. Well, we finished our procedure with the power clean flush tool, and the results are pretty amazing. Here's what we've got. We've got the comparisons from the garden hose flush and the power clean flush. What we have is the block, the heater core, and the radiator. Now, with the exception of the block, the results are dramatic on the other two. Of course, with our first initial flush, no matter what the procedure, the large, bulkier flakes are going to be in that flush. But what's important to remember is this is what's going to be left over after a normal flush. These tests prove that common flush procedures are not enough to remove the amount of contaminants present in neglected vehicles. With the Power Clean tool, technicians now can recommend a more thorough flush procedure to consumers. Doing so will increase engine cooling efficiency, protect the life of the water pump, and eliminate unnecessary customer comebacks.